Hello everybody, I am Cheeky Walnut, here to play Dragon Quest XI, Echoes of an Elusive Age. For the third time, because I've lost my captures twice in a row, the last time losing about 20 hours worth of footage. So, anyway, I deleted all of my data, and here we go! Create a new adventure. Okay, one. I'm going to name myself Xavier after my beloved D&D character. Who happens to use a great sword, hint, hint, what I'm going to do for my main character. First things first, second things first, I guess. Second things second, that makes more sense. I'm going to turn on the Draconian Quests, which if people aren't aware, it's essentially a uh, harder mode of the game. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to turn on Can't Flee From Battle, reduce experience from easy fights and all enemies being super strong. All right. So now that that's on, I hate shy pox. It just slows the game down. I don't think there's an achievement for turning them all on. After I get done with this playthrough, I probably will actually go through and uh, do a playthrough with all of them on. But for the first time, I want to be able to shop. I want to be able to wear armor and stuff like that. And I don't want to get stunned every round because that's what shy pox does. It's pretty funny at first, but it gets a little bit tedious. So starting there, apply those to log one. And we are good to go. Now, the way that I'm going to be doing this is, it's an RPG, it's long, and there's gonna be a lot of grinding and the like. I'll probably cut out or speed or speed up all of the uh, all of the fighting for the most part, except for bosses and the like, and important like quest battles, so you can have a little bit of a miniature walkthrough of what's going on. But uh, I'm going to be quiet for the cutscenes, and. I'm gonna read any non-voice acted text I will read out loud. But for the most part, you can expect uh, to get the full story here and hear my puppies in the background a little bit sometimes. They're in the other room right now while I'm recording. Adventure log successfully created. All right, and here we go, intro cutscene. So get a little bit of that lore. This child, he is the one, there's the mark, there's no mistaking it.
things are you doing here? And after that awful storm, too. However did you survive? <laughs> You're a jolly one. What's this? Oh, you poor thing. Come here. Come here. Oh, there's no need to be frightened anymore. You're safe now, little fellow. Thanks so much, you're a lifesaver. Trust me to lose my headscarf just before the big ceremony. <sighs> so it's finally here, the big day. I can't believe we're gonna be climbing all the way up there. Looks like Sandy's keen to lead the way. Come on, best not keep her waiting. <laughs> and I'm back. So, a couple of things first. I'm gonna turn off a few, change a few settings at least. Battle mode, one the classic camera. Because I don't like the freeform mode, personally. That's just a personal thing for me. Um, confirm button, fine. Draconian quests, uh, the display settings, you don't want to show that. It's kind of annoying having that up there on the screen all the time. And I do have the addition of light, so some of you may call this cheating, but, um, you know, I, uh, I want, I want to use my items that I got. So, I'm gonna get the supplicant, the healer, and, uh, the seeds of skill. So what the supplicant do, does is I believe it's restores MP every turn in combat. So, supplicants, and then the healer restores some HP every turn in combat. Let's see. 3 HP, yep. Yeah. And this is 1 MP every turn. Um, and you start off with a great sword in your inventory as well as a normal sword. I'm gonna equip that, because I just, I like big swords, okay? I really like big swords. So we got that, and now for the story, uh, we all saw that our protagonist was a baby like to some princess or something and uh just got swept away in a storm after monsters attacked the kingdom pretty pretty standard fare now several years later we have this trunks looking fellow who i assume is the same baby because uh, i mean uh, the same little mark on the hand so let's continue on i think you and jim are all grown up already i can you two little ones hovering around the place causing trouble like it was yesterday. Oh, time flies, it really does. The path gets pretty steep up to the door, so be sure to watch your footing. But don't let that make you stick to the beaten track. Little detours are where you find all the fun stuff. So it's time for you to head up to the tour, I hear. Mind you, don't slip, it's a long way down. Oh, don't worry, Xavier would never let me fall. Uh, what would you do without him, eh? Well, Xavier, you heard the lady, make sure she comes to no harm. The symbols on the side of the tour represent the spirit of the land, you know. The spirit has always watched over the people of Cobblestone. The coming of age ceremony is one of the ways we show our gratitude for his protection. Woof, woof, woof. We've all been through it, you know. We have all climbed to the top of the tour. I'll remember it like it was yesterday. But I can't tell you what I found up there. No, it's something you'll just have to find out for yourselves. You know, the mayor and your mother are waiting to see you up at the top of the steps, don't you? Don't keep them waiting, dear. Oh, and remember, if you're ever in need of some advice or you're stuck for what to do, have a chat with folks with pretty pink speech bubbles above their heads like me. Just press X and look at the map. You can't miss us. While you're looking at the map, use right stick to change the direction you're facing. It's a heady little trip. Trust me. 
You know, I'm not sure I've ever seen the two of you apart, and to think you're all grown up already. Is that wedding bells I hear? Hee 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 Grandma, honestly. Oh, let an old woman have her fun with you. Now, Xavier, you look after my lovely granddaughter, you hear? Woof, woof, woof in the distance. Let's get up here. Good luck, Xavier. I wish I was a grown-up like you. I can't wait to climb the tall. Xavier, seeing you and my dear Jim are all set for your big day makes me proud as anything, both as a mayor and as a grandfather. You're not kids anymore, you know. No, you're grown up now, and that means going to the tour and offering your thanks. Now it's time you're on your way. Head up to the top, give praise to the spirit of the land, and then come back down and tell us how you like the view. Oh, and if you're ever unsure what to do next, try pressing Y and selecting Party Talk. Jimma might have some useful tips for you. Just look at you, Xavier. My little boy, all grown up. Now be sure to look after Jimma, you hear? I think you've been inseparable since you were tiny, and here you are, about to climb the tour together. Oh, and if you ever lose your way, just follow Sandy. That dog's got more sense than any of us. Off you go now, dear. I know the two of you will be just fine, and I'll make sure there's a delicious supper waiting for you when you get back. Man, I do like me some good food. Okay, woof, woof, woof. Actually, woof, woof, woof. There we go. The path ahead will the times be a steep one, but fear not, my children, for the spirit of the land shall watch over you. May your climb teach you how truly blessed we are to live among such beautiful surroundings. We will pray for your safe return. Cool, just look at that view. It's beautiful, isn't it? Whenever you find somewhere with lovely scenery like this, you should take the time to stop and bask in the wonder of nature. It always does me the power of good. I love some of the, like, vernacular they use. Oh, dearie me. Where can that boy have got to this time? I hope he hasn't decided to go up the tour on his own. No, he wouldn't be that stupid, surely. Oh, he'll be the death of me, that one. Betty's up here. Humble folk of cobblestone, great land spirits, hearth and home. That's how it goes, isn't it? My granddad's been teaching me the prayer ever since I was little. He reckons the spirit of the land really does live on cobblestone tour, you see. As long as I can remember, he's been preparing me for this day. The day it would finally be my turn to climb all the way up there and offer my thanks. I just wonder whose idea it was in the first place, sending the village's young folk on such a dangerous errand. What if I take a tumble and do myself a mischief? Well, not to worry. Since you and me were born on the same day, I'm lucky enough to have a bodyguard along for the journey. Come on, then. That craggy old thing won't climb its... Oh! Okay, so these monsters are showing up for the tutorial fight, trying to do me a mischief. Should be easy enough, because I only have one action right now, and that is the tag. Okay. I'm playing on all enemies are super strong, so... Even some of these weaker enemies should pose a bit of a threat. It shouldn't be too bad, just because the complexity of the game at the moment isn't too high. It's just because there's no buffs, debuffs, or any of that nonsense, so mostly it's just a slugfest. And I got Sandy, and Sandy is like the best. Slime Tower defeated. Six experience, six gold, and a medicinal herb. Nice. Crikey, I wasn't expecting that. Oh, I know they were only little, but I'd have been done for if you and Sandy hadn't been here to help me. And now we've got to go through that horrible, dingy cave. Just our luck. 
I'll bet you anything that's where those awful things came from. Well, as long as you're with me, I've got nothing to worry about. Come on, let's get going. Already got me an achievement for getting different kinds of items. Ten different ones, probably because the the little thing. So I'm gonna read this just because I need to. Humble folks of cobblestone, great land spirits, hearth and home. Blessed are we since days of yore. Let it be so forevermore. And I'm gonna try my best to 100% this. I know quite a few places for some of the things because of the footage I lost. Back here's a pot lid. So you know, if you want that treasure, it's a shield. If you you know, want to use a shield. So yeah, hey, there's that. <laughs> What's that sign say? It says it goes up here, cool. So, all right. Before entering this cave, I think it's time to end this episode. So everybody, welcome to Dragon Quest XI, and I hope that you guys have enjoyed this first little video. We will continue on in the next one. So remember, please, rate the video, comment the video, subscribe the video, gently caress the video, love the video, whatever you really want to do. Even if you don't like it, I understand. But if you want more like this, please tell me, and I'll continue. Because I'm going to anyway, just because I want to do this. So I hope you enjoy it. All right, bye!